Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, they've gone too far, the woke crew. They've come for one of my favourite shows on television, Doctor Who, ladies and gentlemen. I've loved that show since I was about five. That's a long time ago, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Woke Doctor Who is here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you know that, uh, you know, I, I am such a fan of Doctor Who that I would actually get Doctor Who magazine. That's how much of a geek I am. I'm not a Trekkie, but I am a fan of Doctor Who. I'm actually a fan of the old show. I've never been a particular fan of the, of the new show, but uh, uh, the new show, this is what your companion and your Doctor would look like. This was one of the more uh, popular new Doctors, David Tennant, Catherine Tate. She was a, um, uh, like a companion for a long time, and they brought them back recently because they're bringing in a new Doctor. I mean, this is the not the beginning of what you would call woke Doctor Who. Um, it, it started when they decided to make Doctor Who a woman. Which, you know, I mean, who the hell wants to see Nurse Who? You know what I mean? Like, um, a long time ago, you know, like, the Doctor has been a white male since William Hartnell, who was the fantastic first Doctor. I am, you know, a huge fan of the original series. Um, you know, I love William Hartnell, I love Patrick Troughton, I love John Pertwee, I love Tom Baker, I liked Peter Davidson, Colin Baker and Sylvester McCoy, the show began to lose its um, appeal, but I'm still a fan of that, I still like that stuff, and it has a certain 80s kitschiness that I enjoy. Um, and then, obviously, the show went into, um, kind of like, into nowhere land, and in the 1990s they did a tele, tele movie um, that was sort of somewhat successful, and then in the 2000s, uh, Russell T Davies, who was like a, a gay um, English uh, producer, got involved and said, I want to bring back Doctor Who, and when he first brought it back, you know, he had uh, Christopher Eccleston come in for one season, and um, he had this story of Rose, and it was uh, Doctor Who was a bit more romantic, and it was different, but it wasn't so bad, I, I was tentatively supportive of it, and then uh, they had David Tennant come along, and he had a successful run of about three or four years, uh, and then they brought in uh, Matt Smith, he came in for another... Um, three years, and that was that was okay. Uh, and then they brought in um, uh, Peter Capaldi, and he had a, another three... Peter Capaldi was a great choice, because to me, the Doctor should always be played by an older man. I thought Matt Smith was a bit a bit funny, because he was too young, and he didn't seem very Doctorish, but... And I sort of got used to him, but still, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the new show. Um, but I have sort of tolerated it. But then they decided to you know, go woke and make Doctor Who a female, which is this patently ridiculous. Um, and they've done, done other, other kind of woke things. They had, um, you know, storylines, because the Doctor was only meant to go through so many um, uh, regenerations. I think it was 13, and they've obviously passed that now. So, um, you know, they invented some something in the in some plot device where the Doctor is almost eternal. The, the, uh, the I can't remember the name of the episode. It was in the, the new comeback shows. And they made out that the first Doctor of all was a black woman, right? You know, and that's when I knew they were heading down the, the path of, you know, woke ideology. You know, the, but before um, William Hartnell, Doctor Who was apparently a black woman. So the, the original Doctor was apparently a black, which is absolute nonsense. You know what I mean? The original Doctor is William Hartnell. Uh, he had a granddaughter, Susan, who he travelled with, and uh, they're re-releasing some of those early uh, episodes on Blu-ray. Season 2, I think, came out recently in part of the collection. So I'm, I'm a big fan of all this. I know a lot about Doctor Who. So anyway, I, I really didn't watch much of the female Doctor. You know, it, it was woke. There are a couple of episodes that I guess you could say are passable. Occasionally they get in someone like you know, Mark Gaddis um, from the League of Gentlemen or uh, other writers. To me, the Hulk show should be run by... Charlie Brooker, uh, you know, um, he would be perfect for the show. Um, you know, he does Black Mirror, and he does good e episodic shows, and obviously Doctor Who is an episodic show, and if you could somehow get Charlie Brooker to do Doctor Who, that would be incredible. But Russell T Davies has come back, and he's decided to go full diversity, equity, and inclusion, and this is what we've got, ladies and gentlemen. We've got uh, the Ghetto Doctor, you know, who, you know, first of all, if you're going to cast a black guy as the Doctor, Okay, you know, I'm not supportive of that idea, full stop, but if you're going to do it, get someone like Richard Ayodi from, like, The It Crew, or, you know, The It Crowd, or whatever that show is. He played a kind of geeky black guy into science, and he did it very well, and he would be quite believable as a Time Lord. But they get this kind of 20-year-old gay actor from, I think, I don't know, from London, around London, who knows, maybe from Manchester, I don't know, and he's just nothing, at all, nothing like the Doctor. They've got a sort of, you know, blonde female companion. Of course they have a blonde girl, 
girl, a blonde, you know, Aryan white girl, because she's going to obviously have some kind of romance with the new black doctor, because that's again part of the diversity equity uh, bullshit. Uh, and then, you know, what else have they done? They had uh, uh, in the in the transition show between the black doctor and the uh, white doctor, they had a, a trans companion just for I think an episode or two. Typical. So they've had the trans in there, and they've brought back a character called Maestro that sounds a lot like the Master, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a she, not a male, and it's played by a drag queen called Jinxie some monsoon or some fucking ridiculous name. So basically, they've wrecked Doctor Who. There's this uh, meme going around, um, sorry, a hashtag, rest in peace Doctor Who, and that's exactly what's happened, ladies and gentlemen. They fucked this show up. Um, you know, I still get into the classic series, you know, like uh, Tom Baker here, the collection. I'll stick to this, ladies and gentlemen. I, as I said, I am a legitimate big fan of the show. I thought it was... Um, you know, it, the show did have some progressive ideas in it back in the day, but it also had a lot of very dark ideas that dealt with, um, you know, fascist topics, um, you know, the Daleks, um, the Cybermen, uh, and many of these uh, villains that have appeared in Doctor Who. So it's a very interesting show, I thought, in the classic series. To me, that is canon, and a lot of what they've done in the new uh, show is not canon, in my opinion, and they've fucked it up. And Russell T. Davies, um, you know, he, when he brought the show back, that was good on him, but now he's just gone super woke and he's basically destroying the show. The first two episodes have featured some space babies and, like, this kind of uh, drag queen master. And it sounds utterly ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't support the bit of it. So that's it. That's my thoughts on Woke Doctor Who.